and welcome to Code Tutorials. Today we'll be exploring the Image Marquee widget from the Key Add-ons for Elementor Premium plugin. With this widget, you can create an auto loop constantly scrolling marquee with visuals instead of text content. This is one example of it. This is actually one ribbon like image composed of multiple individual images. Below it is another example. Here we have three separate marquee widgets placed in the same section. And as you can see, the image marquee can move either horizontally or vertically depending on what settings you make. And speaking of settings, in this video I'll be showing you which ones you get with this widget and how to use them. So to start with, head over to the back end. This is the page I'll be working on. And as you can see, I already prepared the section where I'll be putting my image marquee widgets. And I have three empty columns because I plan on adding three image marquees. And to the right of them, I have a section title element from key add-ons, the free collection. These widgets are all extremely versatile, so you can easily combine them and create whatever you imagine on your site. And speaking of creating page elements, let's see what there is to know about the image marquee so you can start using it. First, we need to find it in the sidebars elements menu. Simply start typing, and here it is. Drag it over to the page. And this is what the widget looks like by default. It has only a handful of easy to use options. And they are the same whether you opt for the horizontal, which we have now, or the vertical layout. And if you pick vertical, it can slide upwards or downwards. For myself, I'll use the vertical marquee layout. Then I'll remove the default image and click here to select a new one. I have the one I want in my media library already. It's this one. Now, even with this miniaturized display, you can make out that the image is a composite and it looks a bit like a series of photos from a photo booth. While you can just as easily set a single image and it will still auto-rotate in the marquee, I chose to take this route as it will make the marquee look chock full. Alright, insert media. And then here it is. This is what my image marquee looks like once I've added an image. With that done, we can set the animation duration, i.e. the speed at which the image scrolls. It's in seconds and I'll set 5 so we can see. The marquee moves much quicker now. Alright, I'll set this back to the default 20 seconds. Since I'm using a composite image, I prefer a slower tempo. Then we can reverse the direction of the marquee scroll. When I switch this on, the image starts moving down. Ok. After that, we have the image action option, where we can enable adding a custom link. Let me show you. It opens an additional field. And if I hover over the marquee, it's not clickable yet. We need to set something in that new field. You'd use a proper URL, but I'll just set a hashtag as a placeholder. Once I've done that, if I check the marquee, we can see my cursor turns into a pointer. And then we can choose whether the link will open in the same window or a new one. Alright. As I don't want a clickable marquee, I'll set this back to no action. And our last option here is for adjusting the vertical height. It's very straightforward. By moving the slider, you adjust the element height. You can also type in a value if you prefer. I'll set 810 pixels. There we go. And this is now the height of my image marquee. And those are actually the main options. You also have the developer tools which come with each of our widgets. They contain an option that shows the widget in the form of a standard WordPress shortcode, making it easy to copy. Besides that, you have the help section where you can find some helpful resources if you need them. And that's all there is to it. I'll now use my prepared image marquee to make copies for the other columns. That way, I only need to replace the images, all the other settings are already made. I won't bore you with that bit as we already covered image replacement, so let's skip ahead. And here we are. I'll hit update as I'm done. You can see I've created a section with three image marquees, where the only differences between them are the images I used and the different directions of movement. All of this has let me create a section that looks rich and dynamic but took minutes and a handful of options to make. To finish up this tutorial, we can take one last look at the page we started from. On it, you can see different examples of how this widget can be used and styled. 
This page is here to help give you an idea of what you can do or to provide a design blueprint you can copy, as I did with this one. Ultimately, whatever you decide to do, this tutorial has hopefully provided you with the tools to do it. You've seen what options there are and how to use them. So now all you need to do is dive in. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial on the image marquee widgets from the key add-ons for Elementor Premium plugin. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please drop us a line in the comments below. Also, make sure to subscribe to our channel and be the first to learn about new theme guides and tutorials. Thank you for watching.